Hello. Um, I will just select my microphone. Sounds good. Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Lucky Wachupu, and I am the Governance Project Manager here at the Filecoin Foundation. Um, I might just be a similar face, or you might just be seeing my face for the first time. However, I support in the overall coordination of our governance processes and systems. Um, and today we will be doing the demo of, of um, Metropolis. If you're familiar with some of our recent announcements within the Filecoin, FIPS, Slack channels, and on social media, uh, some months back we did launch uh, Metropolis, which is a temperature check tool. Um, in terms of the overall uh, purpose of this demo, I will be showing you very quickly how to use this tool for all of the FIPS needs that we potentially would have. Um, and we'll be discussing other use cases as well that this tool would service. Um, but before then, I just want to, on my screen, I am showing just the landing page of Metropolis. Um, I haven't signed in yet. So once you go into Metropolis, this is what you see first, and then you'd be asked to sign in. I'll be talking about the sign-in process in a short while. However, I'll be talking a bit more about why we're doing Metropolis, you know, um, you know, as a tool. We're doing this as part of the Fipon V2 process. Um, Fipon V2 being a Filecoin Foundation champion project aimed at revamping and solidifying uh, our existing governance processes, introducing additional consensus building mechanisms, including on chain voting tool and a temperature ch check tool, just like Metropolis. Metropolis will not gate the FIPS process, and that means that regardless of the outcome of the results in, from Metropolis, FIPS that uh, are not very well received um, will not necessarily fail in the governance process. We are decoupling Metropolis from the actual on-chain voting tool that we are that we are instituting, um, Metropolis perhaps in the future, depending on the interest and momentum of usage and uptake, might perhaps become part of the you know encoded governance tool. Uh, by that, uh, it probably would be a gated function in that you know FIPS before they go into the consensus check on-chain voting tool. Uh, they would have to pass the, you know, the the temperature check process. But that at the moment is not the case. So whatever the outcome is, it's just that an outcome. Um. So that being said, uh, we are also hoping that this will be an avenue for community members to field, you know, uh, polls in terms of new improvement ideas that they're hoping to get initial response from community members on. Um, so that can be, you know, just getting community uh, uh, sentiments on new ideas or you proposed improvement areas for the Filecoin stack. Right, so having said that, we when you log into metropolis.vote, this is what you see. On the left-hand side of the menu, we have all of the different functions available. Uh, the FIPS, the polls, and everything else. At the moment, it's just set at polls. Maybe I can just start with all. So it shows you all of the different categories available. Remember that Metropolis is supposed to get us uh, temperature checks and community sentiments on early stage ideas. So our definition of early stage ideas are FIPS that are opened as PRs against the FIPS repo. So these are FIPS that have not been merged into the repo and formally assigned FIP numbers and become active drafts. They are still open as PRs within the repo. Automatically, Metropolis passes through them uh, throughout the day and displays or renders them as new FIPS or new ideas available for temperature checks. Like I talked about earlier, another function of this tool is community community polling. So community members can set up polls 
and have them, you know, signal to the community and, and, and they can get early stage like pulse or sentiments uh, regarding the ideas. I will also talk about that uh, in a short while. So because Metropolis is built to pass through, go through uh, the FIPS repo in GitHub, um, you are required to sign in using your GitHub credentials. And at the top left, you'd see signing with GitHub. And because I've already linked my account to Metropolis, once I click sign in, I am able to sign in. And on the top right corner, you can see my username displayed. So again, once you go in, you'll see the different categories. We have all of the FIPS that are available for temperature checks in addition to, um, you know, polls that have been set up by myself or other community members available for temperature checks. So this is when you've clicked the all function. If you want to get more specific details, you can switch your tabs to FIPS and it will show you all of the FIPS that are available um, for temperature checks. Um, if you want to see the polls within the community, you can also see polls. And these are all the discussions that are open at the moment. Um, so uh, moving on, we will start with actually the temperature checks. So like I said, the FIPS are passed automatically between Metropolis and GitHub so that all of the FIPS that are available for temperature checks are rendered here for community members to go in and you know uh, share their sentiments. Um, so like I said, only the FIPS that are opened as PRs against the FIPS repo in GitHub are able to be rendered here. That's the functionality of the tool as it is at the moment. So when we go in here, maybe we want to cast, beg your pardon, we want to participate in a temperature check process for any particular FIP or a number of FIPs. We can select the FIPs tab here. And these are all of the FIPs that are displayed. Um, and perhaps we can we have seen, I'm interested in vote in, in, in sharing my thoughts on FIP1 V2, which is an update to the FIP purpose and guidelines opened 10 months ago. Um, I'll do that. You potentially wouldn't see the number of views, I guess, because I am admin, so I am able to see that. But ideally, the case is that all the you know participants uh, will remain um, anonymous and I won't be able to see them. So um, uh, so we have the, we select the tabs, FIPS tabs, and it displays all of the different, um, all of the different FIPS that are available for temperature checks. And I have selected this created by Caitlin Biggle, October 15, 2023. So this is um, when it was opened as a PR in the FIPS repo, not you know when it was displayed here, uh, pretty much. So you're able to read very quickly, you know, what this FIP is about. You can expand if you want. However, the link to the discussion post in GitHub is also referenced here for your ease. Um, you read if, if you're satisfied. You can also show less, and then you can express your thoughts. So here, I'm going to say positive, and I just click positive. So at the moment, we have positive and negative um, and no abstain. So once I do that, I can also add my comments if I want um, and click submit. Be aware that the comments are also moderated by admin um, just to prevent spam and on irrelevant uh, discussions. Um, remember that comments uh, will not replace the, you know, you sharing your thoughts within the actual discussion thread in GitHub. So you can add general comments here, like, have you considered so-so and so? Have you considered this and that? Uh, but if there are actual concrete you know, feedback or questions that you have, I suggest that you just click the discussion link and share your thoughts, ask your questions uh, and engage more deeply over there. 
Um, ideally, uh, once you've done this, let's say um, I write good improvements, consider possible delays as a result of additional decision-making layers, making layers. I can, I can submit that um, as a comment and, you know, uh, and that's it. So you can do the same for an other FIPS. Again, it's the same thing, introducing Scylla ID, this is the link to the PR that was passed through, and this is a link to the discussion post. Um, at the moment, um, ideally, before actual FIPS, for every FIP that goes through the governance process, there should be an accompanying uh, discussion thread where the idea was initially introduced to the community for initial discussions and to propose initial thoughts and the premise of the conversation that the FIP author is hoping to relay to the community. So um, we usually would link that here um, and you can participate in that. Again, you see the authors of this FIP you can show more if you want to read more about this uh, this particular FIP, introducing Scylla ID. Um, if I am satisfied, I click positive or I click negative, depending on what you prefer. And again, you can add comments and click submit. Um, for some of the other PRs, you can see, for example, Filecoin Common Node Interface V1, um, you can see that it's still, uh, it's opened as a PR, but as a draft PR. Uh, you can still, you know, signal your sentiments, um, except the author of this FIP decides to close it uh, from the main FIPS uh, repo, which is also, which is also fine. Um, so that's pretty much it, how you can do this. Um, there is no, um, you know, nothing else that is, that you need to know or you need to, you need to, to do. Um, so let's go back to, Let's go back to this. Okay. So we have, um, I talked about additional functionality for this tool. Um, and then we have this community polling and deliberation function. Again, uh, the this functionality on the polls, it's aimed um, at supporting community members to field initial thoughts or ideas that are not necessarily FIPS related, but might end up becoming FIPS in the future. So if you have early stage ideas, or if you have you know, other ideas or thoughts or concepts related to the Filecoin stack, um, but you anticipate would eventually lead to you drafting uh, a whole FIP, but you're not sure exactly you know, what the pulse of the community is regarding or related to that idea, you can use this function to field your ideas um, and get initial feedback. So you can do this once you click the, the polls menu, you would have create a poll. You can also see existing polls um, and you're more than welcome to participate in them. So for example, uh, we can do what should be the code name for the next Filecoin network upgrade version 23. Obviously, this is outdated, but yes, it was opened by me, um, an equal committee member as well. Uh, and I have my initial text, additional information, and I have preceded, um, you know, some, some ideas. Um, but I'm going to show you how you can do this as well uh, and how you can, you can vote or rather, uh, you know, signify your, your interests.
or otherwise. So we have this opened by a Denny OB. Um, by Denny, how should we audit processes in the future? I think it's important to have a record of how decisions should be made. How do you think we should record these decisions in a permanent, comprehensible form? Um, good, you know, uh, simple explanation to help community members decide and understand what the purpose of the uh, poll is all about. So, like I will show you shortly, um, if you're opening up, you know, a poll, you have to precede them with comments. So again, this is sort of an aggregated form of getting community input or feedback or how community members are leaning towards in terms of various ideas. Um, so you're required to precede some responses. So we have, we should store them on IPFS, back them up onto Filecoin and all of the other suggestions. So you can agree like I have done, disagree here, or I skip this. So, and I agree and never mind, I can undo these things. This is just for the purpose of this demo, uh, Danny. Um, and again, as usual, you can also add your responses if you have additional thoughts or additional, you know, um, answers to the questions. You can you can add your thoughts here, add your comments, um, and submit. Again, this is a collective response poll where anyone can contribute additional questions or statements to the discussion thread. Um, if you have one, you can you can submit that there. Um, so in terms of setting one up for yourself, uh, once you are on the polls, one second. Once you are on the polls menu, at the bottom left, you should have create a poll. And that's what we want. And then it comes up with create a community poll and you include a title. So here we have, for example, how useful is a temp check process. Right. So here in Markdown, you've written the title or maybe the overall title, it could be shorter than this, I recommend. Um, but also you have uh, a space to add additional information if you want. Um, you can also link out to additional external um, references, resources or documentation that potentially would guide community members in understanding what the poll is about or what the discussion is about. And then you create this discussion and it shows up like this. So like I referenced earlier, I said, you know, you would need to fill in at least five example responses for readers to vote on. This poll will be hidden from other viewers until then. So you can't proceed until you, you know, seed in your responses. So from my perspective, I want to understand um, the effects or if temperature checks are important. So I can say absolutely um, temp checks are important in governance. Once I'm happy with this, I submit, then I add another one. I do not have an opinion on this. I submit this as well. We have three more to go. And then we can say, um, as long as they are qualified part of the governance process, then I am in one, two, three, four. It appears that, okay, it appears that we need 
four responses and not five. Um, but let me edit this. I will, yeah, okay. So I need to update the documentation for this. So it's good that I'm also doing this so that I know where the, the errors are. I need to update the language here to say that uh, you should fill in at least four example responses because um, as you can see, one, two, three, four. Uh, test, test two, let's see if that shows up. Uh, test, test two, okay. So we have one, two, three, four, five responses. Um, and you're more than welcome to, you know, uh, vote on your own, uh, to vote on your own test responses or your own poll. Um, and once this is done, it shows up on the left-hand side once you're done adding your responses, your preceded responses. It shows up here on the left-hand side um, as a poll. But it's interesting because um, as the author of the poll, I'm not sure how it renders for viewers. So what we can do is to, I will go to the home page. I will sign out. And then I will sign back in. And then there we have it. It's still there. Um, what's interesting is you can also preview the results on the top right hand side of the of the of the screen um, and you request uh, a report. You can also download a full report which shows you you know how voters how you know participants you know signal their interest uh, or otherwise across all of your preceded um, responses and obviously you can also see comments that must must have been or might have been added to to your poll um so that's how to create your poll and it shows up here but when it comes to um the the, the bottom line is uh the polls uh set up by other committee members will be subject to moderation just to make sure that we are not having spam um, polls uh, in the system. Um, I have talked about how to participate. Again, if you log into Metropolis, you can see the all function that shows you all of the FIPS and polls. You can see only the FIPS or only the polls. Just the same way you click any of the, um, you click any of the, I've already voted on all of them. So you can click on any of the available polls and click, you know, like or dislike, or agree, disagree, or pass. For the polls, it's agree, disagree, or pass. Whereas when you're, you know, doing the same process, the tech check process on actual fits, um, it's most likely going to be positive uh, or negative with the two smileys or emojis. So, um, and pretty much that's all. So in, in, just to recap, we have those two functionalities for FIPS, early stage FIPS that are opened as PR against PRs against the FIPS trip on GitHub. Um, and then the polls, which is like community deliberation, deliberation function where we all can, you know, suggest if you have early stage ideas or things that you want to get initial community polls or fields on, you can utilize the, the poll function. Um, if you want to learn more about FIPS process, you can also click here. It will take you to, ideally take you to the FIPS repo. Um, if you also want to report bugs and fixes, for example, uh, there are maybe things that you notice you can also click here and it takes you directly to the Metropolis um, 
uh, repo where you can open up an issue and you know report um, any bug or any fix that you would like to propose uh, as as they show up for you. Um, I hope this has been incredibly helpful. Obviously, um, this is still a new tool. We are still refining this. For example, in the coming months, we are going to be adding additional functionalities, uh, particularly a FIPS tracker, where we have a way to showcase how all of the FIPS that we have are going through the governance process in a much more interactive way outside GitHub. Uh, we will be bringing that improvement here, hopefully. Um, so if you have ideas, suggestions, feel free to comment in the feel free to comment in the um in the Slack channel, fill uh slash gov uh Slack channel. Um also feel free to to contact us directly if you have additional thoughts or questions or ways we can improve this uh tool going forward. This is all part of our efforts to improve governance process. It takes time, but we are getting there. There will be other demo videos on the on-chain voting tool as well. But thank you so much. And, and I look forward to you engaging directly with this tool.